This year's Culture Cure was incredible. This year, we talked about the housing crisis and homelessness and how it's affecting community residents here in South LA. As we know, there is a current housing crisis that is affecting all of Los Angeles, but primarily black and brown communities. So this series was to elevate that while also talking about the beauty of South LA and that although corporate landlords are trying to push black and brown people out, black and brown folks are still claiming this place as home. And so our members played a huge role in informing the content. Of, of a lot of the different pieces of our exhibit. For example, you can take a look at the living room at risk. Uh, you know, our members, you know, told us, yes, I may have a home right now, uh, but I'm a paycheck or two away from being displaced, from being homeless. And so, so when we talk about mental health and housing, these things are very interconnected, right? When you're experiencing housing insecurity, you can see increase in anxiety, depression, all these things. And then also, what does it look like to be a black and brown person? After the uh, pandemic, we know that our already pre-existing conditions in South LA were exacerbated. And that also being our mental health. So as we discuss housing, we also need to discuss mental health, which was talked about in each of the exhibits as we've heard our black and brown members talk about how their mental health has been impacted. Um, we started this series with our members talking about houselessness because quite a few of our members are actually impacted by the housing and houselessness crisis. And what we wanted to do because we're member led is actually bring members together to talk about their experiences in order to bring, um, build community, but to also dream and um, strategize on our possible solutions so we can ensure that our work is member led. Um, the most impactful thing for me in that conversation, I actually was in a small group with some of our Latina um, elders and we talked about why we love South Central so much and also why we continue to stay engaged in the work and one is because of course they're experiencing houselessness, um, housing insecurity, and they're seeing their neighbors experience it as well so we want to fight together but to me what was also so special is how they talked about um, building community as um, you know the strategy to fight this housing crisis because the more we know each other the more we care for each other the more we love for each other um, you know we can be more strategic and impactful in our fight. Uh, we were able to listen from issue experts around the, the root causes of the housing crisis we are in. Policy panel was an important part of this series uh, because it allowed for us to bring together uh, a group of uh, housing stakeholders from di different disciplines, different areas of work to talk about how in their respective work um, black and brown people can be prioritized uh, and, and supported uh, through this crisis. As Community Coalition continues to uh, respond to this housing crisis and continues to involve um, housing experts like the ones who played a role in the panel, uh, we want to make sure that we're seeing this as a collective issue, right? We all have a responsibility to play uh, and as Community Coalition we want to make sure we are organizing uh, residents, uh, people who are being directly and disproportionately impacted along with housing stakeholders. Um, uh, together, all right. If you didn't get a chance uh, to come to the exhibit or to any panel discussions, you really missed out on the, on the opportunity of hearing from real people who have been impacted by this issue. We invited the community to come in and check us out, check out themselves, check out incredible music, and just be with one another. Because culture cures when you come together to heal.